Uh, so lean manufacturing is traditionally defined as a set of tools and principles, primarily to help organisations um, that are trying to add more value from the customer's perspective, um, whilst improving their operational cost and efficiency. More recently, um, it's been um, seen more as a way of developing and engaging their people in helping to make improvements in processes and uh, get everybody involved in um, problem solving and improving efficiency. Um, lean manufacturing is usually important because um, wasteful activities tend to consume time, effort and resources for organisations. Um, so very few companies can afford to uh, exist these days, those kind of inefficiencies built into their business. And so it's really important to get people involved in identifying where those wastes are uh, and then working together to actually try and eliminate them. So over the last 18 months, we've been investing pretty heavily in growing the business, um, primarily in uh, putting in place a stronger sales team uh, all over the UK. That's definitely led to more orders from, from existing and new customers. And ultimately, lean manufacturing is one way in which we can ensure that we're making top quality doors on time for our customers. As I said earlier, we are in a period of investment and growth at Bradbury, um, and that investment and growth will hopefully continue uh, over the coming years. So for us to really focus on our manufacturing process and to continue investing in our people and the way that we're producing doors is absolutely fundamental to our success. Winning new business is one part of the challenge but almost the bigger part of the challenge is delivering the right door to the right place at the right time for our customer. So that continued investment in lean manufacturing is essential. We've got a lot of very exciting plans for the future. We're fortunate, Bradbury, to have a really fantastic facility. We've got 135,000 square feet of space, uh, which means we've got a lot of room uh, to play with. We've got an appetite to invest in our manufacturing facility. We are weeks away from having on board a new operations director, Paul Smith, who happens to be uh, a Six Sigma black belt, uh, an expert in lean. Um, we've got the expertise of Graham Canning on, on a consultancy basis, hopefully on an ongoing basis. So we're really investing in primarily the right people to drive our lean programme in a fantastic facility. And hopefully that investment will trickle down to our supervisors, our team leaders and all of our operators to make sure we're getting better and leaner, more efficient, more productive and more profitable. and seeing people develop. Um, the key part of my job is to um, engage and develop people um, rather than necessarily be the experts in things, is to train and coach them some basic new principles. And the most exciting and energizing part of my job is to actually see people try different things out and grow in confidence and learn some new skills that they can apply both in their workplace and in their personal lives. For customers, there is an ever-increasing demand on the type of product they need and the timely manner in which the product arrives at site. For a lot of our customers, when the door arrives at the site, which is going to be uh, uh, put into the building, it's absolutely critical that the customer has all of the other ingredients they need to complete the job. So people primarily, and tools and, and other things that they need to finish the job. So the importance of our door arriving at site at the right time is, is absolutely fundamental and critical to the success of the customer. 
and that comes from uh, good manufacturing practice. It comes from getting the door right first time. It comes from the team working together to make sure the delivery is planned, the logistics are planned, uh, and we are relentless in our pursuit of absolute excellence in delivering that level of service to all of our customers. always challenges um, and the biggest one, the biggest temptation is when things go wrong to fall back to the old traditional time and prove ways of doing things. Um, the, the pressure to get results um, often means in the other days and um, people want to do that and lapse back to that way of thinking. Um, but I mean, for me sometimes learning from mistakes is a key component of what we're trying to do. So actually people feel that um, you know, they can make mistakes and learn from them collectively without kind of fear of failure. And so that's probably the biggest challenge in the short term. Um, well, shorter lead times for one, um, improved quality, um, lower cost of manufacturer, greater capacity for growth. All those things are potential gains from uh, a lean manufacturing journey. Um, but I think there's more important things as well in terms of improvements in staff morale and the kind of things that people want to get involved in, solving problems that might have been problems for years that have become issues for them. And the other thing I would say is that lean is also green and uh, by spending more time actually converting product to saleable product uses less energy and so that's good for the planet as well.